Mr. Chu here with Brack Geometry. We're going to work some student challenge problems about the area of parallelograms using the Pythagorean theorem to find a missing measure and the area formula for a parallelogram. Make sure you like this video if it's helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then pass it on. Tell people, I'm out here, I want to help you. If you have a particular question about a problem that I'm working, put it in the comments. I'll answer your comments as soon as I'm made aware that you commented. The other thing is I could work a problem that you wanted help with, even if it had nothing to do with the problem on there. I do like to wear ties. I'd wear a different tie to school every day when I was teaching. This is a, a hawk. Pretty nice looking tie. I think it goes really well with the black shirt. And I like ties. So, on the first one, the first challenge, it says if I have the area formula, and remember, these little arrows mean these opposite sides are parallel. This double arrow, double arrow, opposite sides are parallel. That is required for it to be a parallelogram. I just take and I substitute now. The base is 12.6 meters, and the height is 3.4 meters. So my area is going to be 12.6 times 3.4 times meters times meters. I always want you to use a calculator if there's decimals and you're able to, and you are able to. So I have 12.6 times 3.4. And if you don't have a calculator, you can go ahead and go to desmos.com. And then they have scientific calculators and graphing calculators you can use. 42.84 meters times meters is meters squared. And that is exact. There's no sense in rounding that since you get a terminating decimal there. All right. So next, I have... Opposite sides parallel, opposite sides parallel. That's how a geometry teacher is going to mark that. I'm going to have to find my total base here, but i got to find that little piece of that triangle first by using the Pythagorean theorem. Your longest side is going to be C, which is the side opposite the right angle, the hypotenuse. The height is 12, so I just substitute now. I don't know A. So I'm going to solve for A. The B squared, this is going to be my B here. Because it's just the other leg. And the C squared is 13 feet squared. So A squared plus 12 squared is 144. Feet squared is feet squared. 13 squared is 169 feet squared. Now I have a two-step equation. Now I have to solve it. And I'm going to solve it by subtracting 144 feet squared from the left and the right. In earlier videos, I've talked about that. It's called the subtraction property of equality. This cancels out because they're opposites. A squared plus zero is A squared. And 169 minus 144 is 25 feet squared. The next inverse operation, the, op the inverse or opposite of a square is a square root. So I take the square root of both sides. And the square root of A squared is A. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of feet squared is feet. So I know that this is 5 feet now. And I also know that 18 plus 5 is going to be my base. So I know that now that my base is 18 plus 5, which is 23 feet. And I know that my height is 12 feet. So to find the area, which is my last step, I just substitute the base times the height. 
So the base is 23 feet. And the height is 12 feet. So the area is 23 times 12 feet times feet. So the area is, I don't know what that is. I've got a calculator here that'll tell me. 23 times 12, 276, 276 feet squared. And there's my answer. Don't forget to subscribe. It's very important for me to get my message out to other students when you subscribe to my channel. Plus, you can do a search and find some other videos. If you want me to do a video on, say, for example, the quadratic formula, send me a message and I will get it to you. I'm Mr. Chu. This is Brack Geometry. There's going to be a link up here to my original lesson, a link down here to other geometry videos that I've done. I want to work with you because geometry can be a hard subject and it will get harder as I do more videos. Hang in there, work hard, ask questions, watch videos, and remember, I'm Mr. Chu and I want to help you learn geometry. I'll see you next time in the next video. Keep in touch.